An electric guitar played by George Harrison on British television prior to the Beatles' invasion of the United States will go on the auction block along with a rare album cover signed by the Fab Four. Harrison's black and white 1962 Rickenbacker 425 electric guitar is expected to fetch between $400,000 and $600,000 at an auction in May at the Hard Rock Cafe in New York. This is a really special guitar. It's a very famous guitar that was bought by George Harrison when he was visiting his sister in Mount Vernon, Illinois in 1963. He bought the Rickenbacker. It's a Rickenbacker uh, 425. John Lennon played a Rickenbacker. So George Harrison wanted to have a similar guitar to John Lennon. Harrison, who died in 2001 at age 58, played the guitar on 1963 appearances on British TV shows Ready Steady Go and Thank Your Lucky Stars, months before the group brought Beatlemania to the United States with a series of performances on The Ed Sullivan Show in February 1964, launching the British invasion of rock bands. The guitar, which Harrison had painted white and black to match John Lennon's Rickenbacker guitar, was also used during the sessions when the band recorded I Want to Hold Your Hand and This Boy in October 1963. Yes, yeah, so George Harrison gave the guitar to one of his dear friends who worked at Apple Studios and then that gentleman sold it at auction in 1999 and the winning bidder at that auction has now consigned it to us to sell. So he's owned a treasure and now he's letting go. People will buy it because of sentimental, sentimental reasons. It's a great story, very well documented piece. It's in Andy Babbock's book, The Beatles Gear book. And um, people look upon something like this as an investment. It's a tangible asset. It's something they can boast about and say, wow, look what I have. Also up for sale is a copy of the album, Beatles 65, signed by Lennon, Harrison, Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr, a used Hofner bass rented by McCartney in the mid-1960s, and a signed cover by the group of the 1963 album, Please Please Me.